Welcome to our exploration of the Basenji breed, known as the Barkless Dog from Africa. This unique breed with its cat-like grooming habits and high energy levels, is quite the standout in the canine world. Now, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of Basenjis. So is it true that Basenjis don't bark? Yes it is! The Basenji, often known as the Barkless Dog, has a unique yodel-like sound, fondly called a baru instead of the typical dog bark. It's one of the many quirks that make this breed so special. Now you may be thinking, a dog that doesn't bark must be easy to train, right? Well, not exactly. Basenjis can be quite independent and strong-willed, which means they may not always follow commands immediately. However, with patience and consistency, they can be trained effectively, making them a fascinating challenge for dog lovers. How about their compatibility with children and other pets? Basenjis are known to be good with kids, making them suitable for families. They are playful and energetic, which can make them great companions for older children. However, they may not be the best fit for families with very young children or small pets, as their hunting instincts can sometimes kick in. What happens when you leave a Basenji alone, you ask? Basenjis are social animals and they don't appreciate being left alone for long periods. They can develop separation anxiety, which may lead to destructive behavior. So, if you're someone who's away from home often, a Basenji might not be the best choice for you. Can Basenjis coexist with cats? Well, this largely depends on the individual dog and cat, but generally Basenjis can live peacefully with cats, especially if they are raised together from a young age. Do Basenjis shed? Yes, they do, but not as much as some other breeds. Their short hair makes grooming relatively easy. And the best part, Basenjis are known for their meticulous grooming habits and lack of typical doggy odor making them an excellent choice for those who are particular about cleanliness. Are Basenjis destructive? If left bored or alone for too long, they can be. However, with enough exercise and mental stimulation, this can be avoided. Should you feed your Basenji bones? Like with any dog, it's important to monitor them while they're chewing on bones to prevent choking or accidental ingestion. They are certainly unique, aren't they? This African breed with its distinctive traits and quirks is sure to offer a unique pet-owning experience like no other. While Basenjis have many endearing qualities, they also come with their own set of challenges. Now let's delve into the potential difficulties of owning a Basenji. First off, let's talk about their energy levels. Basenjis are a lively breed, often brimming with energy. This means they require plenty of exercise and mental stimulation to keep them happy and healthy. A bored Basenji can quickly become a destructive Basenji, which brings us to our next point. The phrase, idle paws are the devil's workshop could have been coined for Basenjis. When left alone or understimulated, they've been known to chew on furniture, dig up gardens and generally wreak havoc around the house. So, if you're considering a Basenji, be prepared to provide plenty of toys, activities and your own time to keep them entertained. Now let's move on to their independent streak. Basenjis are famously strong-willed, which can make them a bit of a challenge to train. They're smart, no doubt, but they like to do things their own way and on their own terms. This means that patience and consistency are key when it comes to training. A confident owner who can firmly yet lovingly establish boundaries is what a Basenji needs. What about their interaction with strangers and other animals? Well, Basenjis can be a bit reserved and suspicious towards strangers. They can also show signs of aggression towards other animals, particularly those of the same sex. Early socialization is crucial to help them get along with others. Lastly, we come to their escapology skills. Basenjis are expert escape artists. They can scale fences, wiggle through small gaps, and generally find creative ways to break free, particularly if they're bored or spot something interesting in the distance. Make sure your home and garden are securely fenced, and never underestimate a Basenji's determination to explore. But despite these challenges, Basenjis can make wonderful companions with the right care and training. Their intelligence, curiosity and playful nature can bring much joy and laughter into your life. The key lies in understanding their unique traits and providing them with the love, care and stimulation they need. Now, let's talk about some practical considerations when owning a Basenji. First, let's consider size. Basenjis are small to medium-sized dogs, standing about 16 to 17 inches tall at the shoulder and weighing around 24 pounds. They are compact but muscular, making them perfect for those with limited space but still want an active dog. Lifespan is another factor to consider. A Basenji typically lives between 12 to 16 years, which is relatively longer compared to other breeds. 
It's important to remember though that lifespan can vary and is largely dependent on the dog's overall health and care. When it comes to exercise, Basenjis are energetic and require regular physical activity. A couple of walks a day, coupled with some playtime, should suffice. They are natural explorers, so interactive games and puzzles can also keep them mentally stimulated. Basenjis also have unique grooming needs. They shed minimally, which is a plus for those who are not fond of dog hair everywhere. And unlike many breeds, Basenjis are known for their lack of typical doggy odor. They are fastidious creatures, often grooming themselves much like cats do. As for their diet, Basenjis do well on high-quality dog food, whether commercially manufactured or home-prepared. However, it's important to consult with your vet before starting a new diet or feeding regimen. As for bones, they can be a great source of calcium and can help keep your Basenjis teeth clean, but always opt for larger, uncooked bones that won't splinter and pose a choking hazard. It's also worth noting that Basenjis have a propensity for certain health issues, including Fanconi syndrome and progressive retinal atrophy. Regular vet checkups and a keen eye for any changes in behavior or appearance can help catch these conditions early. Remember, owning a Basenji, or any dog for that matter, is a long-term commitment. Understanding their needs and quirks is key to ensuring a harmonious relationship. Informed care can lead to a happy and healthy life for your Basenji. In conclusion, the Basenji breed is unique, energetic, and can make a great pet for the right owner. These dogs are known for their distinctive trait of not barking, but don't be fooled, they still communicate through yodel-like sounds. While they may pose a challenge to train due to their independent nature, their loyalty and affection towards their family is undeniable. They can be great with kids and other pets, but remember, their high energy levels and curiosity may require a watchful eye. Issues such as separation anxiety and a tendency for destructiveness when bored emphasize the need for a dedicated understanding owner. Despite these challenges, the Basenji's lively spirit and unique personality make them a truly special companion. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of the Basenji. Remember, every dog deserves a loving and understanding home. Goodbye for now.